Hello everyone and welcome. As you know that with the latest patches we got lots of performance improvements. But uh, people like me, people who are on budget or don't have any good GPU to run the game. I will show you today guys one simple trick to make your game more playable and in a way that it will not burn your GPU and you will not get like uh, 75 Celsius temperature so as you can see right now when I zoom into the map as you can see that my GPU is using 70 to 71 66 percent of its power so do you know uh, why this is happening and when I zoom out when there is a lot more things to see in the map it uses more power so it goes like 80 percent right now so before we do the trick, I will show you my settings that I am playing on mixed settings, which are shader quality high, texture medium, texture quality high, shadow quality low, shadow type static only, shadow filtering PSF, and then particle detail medium, particle quality medium, foliage quality medium, character detail very high environment detail medium, terrain quality high, number of variables 3, occlusion method, TCAO, texture filtering till and air, water quality low, anti-aliasing SMA X2, lightning quality medium and decal quality low. So I have depth field screen space reflection on uh, not enabled, cloud simulation, interactive grass, sunshine, sub subsurface scattering, Tessellation below and film grain and motion below. So I have these things and I will enable this screen space reflection right now. So as you can see game right now runs like a constant 40 FPS and it uses 75-76% of my GPU so let's disable this thing again and this uh, this can be and this can look like little things but this thing is really helped it if you have if you're on a budget it really helps to get more FPS so uh, one another thing that you shouldn't do is to put your FPS to 60 FPS to your, uh, your frame limiter to 60 in my case when I do it and see it right now guys if I put it to 60 and you know I have 60 Hz monitor right now and yeah I, I am right actually I can have 60 FPS on the campaign map but the problem is isn't in the campaign map you already know that problem is in the big fights big battles so let me demonstrate you this guys let me enter this fight here And, and show you how much FPS actually I get right now. So I am getting 56, 56 right now, 55, right now 55 and my GPU temperature goes to 65 
Celsius degrees right now. So, but this is uh, this is because I just uh, started my computer. That's why in long in long gameplays like this with lots of fighting and lots of units in the battlefield you will get you will get a lot more high temperatures like I do Forward! you will get a lot more believe me and in the and this makes me no I'm afraid to lose my GPU on that man I'm afraid really it goes like 73 degrees Celsius temperature man it goes so high so even though I make this game to 60 FPS I don't get 60 FPS man but they have fixed a lot the, uh, the performance of this game so you know that they have fixed it a lot but as you can see when I am fighting in places like this I get 30 man I get 30 FPS so that's why if you have GPU like man like mine or similar one or one one worse than mine you don't need 60 fps guys you don't need 60 fps so let me go to near to this unit here you don't need 60 fps just just go to your video settings and put the frame limiter to your 30 put this to 30 as you can see my gpu goes to 69 celsius degrees temperature right now 69 so I can't play it on uh, I can't play it on 60 FPS I don't need I don't need more FPS because I can't afford it so you have to do it look at the FPS right now guys uh, pardon me look at the uh, GPU usage right now look at the GPU usage yeah. it goes to 60% man it goes to 60% so you don't have to burn your GPU that's why I am talking you don't need this you don't need 60 FPS this game doesn't need 60 FPS okay this game doesn't need 60 FPS it's not a shooter or something you know at, 60, at 30 FPS as you can see it's it's playable and it's in a very good uh, it's very good to play with 30 fps you know it makes a little more cinematic like you know a little uh, it's uh, more realistic in this if you ask me so guys please do, uh, please think about this one please think about this one because I'm not talking to the guys who can afford lots of money you know uh, have lots of options you know they even won't watch this video I know but if you are on budget like me and you can't afford losing your GPU you know I, you feel me right you feel me dude? because uh, because GPUs really cost you know fortune in different countries and if you don't have uh, good income you, uh, good income you can't get any good GPU man you can't get any G good GPU that so uh, so put your frame limiter to 30 put it to 30 and you will see how it affects your gameplay even though 
if it doesn't help, you have to put the battle size to the minimum, which affects GPU and CPU together. So, and put all the settings to low or very low. So, uh, you can see that I am not playing on very low right now, but I can get a constant 30 FPS, guys. Constant 30 FPS, which is which is nice. We don't need 60 FPS because we can't afford it, you know. Even though we afford it, uh, uh, sorry. Even though we want to play on 60 FPS, everyone wants to play. Me too. I want to play this game on 60 FPS. But the thing is, the problem is that we can't afford it, man. So if you can't afford it, you can't play it. So, but you have to take care of your uh, PC, man. If you can't afford 60 FPS, it means that you can't afford the new PC right now. You can't afford it. So if you watched this video, Please listen carefully what I am saying right now. Okay guys, I hope this video helps you. And in a good way. And I really hope that you will consider subscribing to my channel and show me some support. Which I really appreciate a lot guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for supporting this channel. And stay safe. And I will see you on the next videos again.